morning guys, I'm back um, and I've come to give you a, to do a tutorial on how to make some coloured sprays um, to colour your fabric and your papers um, out of crepe paper. Um, but to start with I just want to say a big big thank you to everybody that contacted me um, to make sure that I was okay um, because I hadn't done any, I hadn't posted anything or made a video for a while. Um, the reason for that was my, my dad sadly passed away in October, um, so I did lose my mojo, um, but um, it's slowly coming back, so um, I thought I'd make a video today for you, um, and just to say what I've been up to. So I was actually scanning and having a look through YouTube and anything to find out if anybody else or what people use to dye fabrics were too expensive um, and more cost effective for, for everybody. Um, so what I did, what I found on YouTube was people dyeing their hair with crepe paper. So which is a very strange thing to do, um, but you can if you want to. But I thought if it dyes hair, then it must dye fabric. So what I did, I went and bought some crepe paper um, like this, just a big bundle of 10. Um, I've got it quite cheaply. Um, I think it was less than three, three euros for 10 big sheets. Um, and I started making some little bottles up, little spritz bottles. And it's so easy, so, so easy. Um, because this is how much you need of the crepe paper. You just snip off the end of it. Um, so there's lots of different colours you can get, obviously. So I just got the one with the the basic colours um, in it and I'll show you in a minute let me just show you the colours that I've done so this was the pink one um, my tripod's in a bit of a funny way today so um, so this is the original spritzy colour and this is one I've actually got some coffee in this one here um, because it's a little bit darker than tea um, you can make it you know a bit stronger um, and I wanted the sort of grungy look um, so I thought I'd show you on two different bits of fabric so that's spraying with coffee after I've sprayed it and um, dried it so I thought it came out really really lovely and such vibrant colours um, this is the purple so that is just the basic colour and then that's the one that spritz with coffee um, and it didn't have purple in it so obviously I mixed the um, pink and the blue so you can obviously make it a shade of purple that you really like so you could it's such a such a, an array of colors you can make um, and I just love them just love them and I think it's so much better than using the um, permanent markers so much quicker easier but you must wear gloves because it does stay in your hands that's how strong it is so this is the green and then that's with the coffee on it so they're lovely I just love them um, this is like the turquoise one so that's the turquoise one and then that's with the coffee on it um, this one is the lovely blue so that's the original blue and then we've got the coffee stain coffee on that one which is a very very lovely if you want to do a journal which has got the sea theme so like a seashore one, it's the colours that you can get from this are amazing. So you can use all the greens in there and the blues and it was lovely. And then I did the black just to see what the black would come out like. And it came out as black. But you can obviously, that's got the coffee stain on it um, as well. So you can get um, obviously the, a grey scale. So you can go lighter and lighter so you can, you can have, make a really nice grungy journal with that. Um, so I'm just going to quickly show you what they came out like because I've made some journal covers so this is what I wanted to do and obviously different fabrics take the the color differently so um, this is the cotton and then you've got the lace and this is with what I did with this I did the green um, but I added tea instead and I did it in a bigger bigger jug um, because I wanted it, I didn't want it this vibrant colour, I wanted it a bit more shabby colour. So that's what I did on this one, which is lovely because all the laces come out different colour. And this one is just um, 
tea stained tea stains fabric so these are my latest journal covers and this is lovely I think it came out really nice um, and then we've got purple so this one here look it looks almost like tie-dye here um, and they've come out lovely so you've just got such a variety of colors just from one little um, bit of um, great paper and then we've got this one so this one's here look I've got the lace inside of the seam binding obviously you can um, color seam binding as well exactly the same way so that's that one um, and then here we've got the fabric so it all comes out in lovely different color purples so here and the colors it makes are amazing so that's lovely and then I've got this pink one here which is the journal that I've actually finished so I thought I'd just show you the colours that we've got in there. Um, so this is the pink one that I used here. And it was obviously too vibrant for me. Because I wanted it more shabby. So I did add the tea to it. Not the coffee, the tea. And it just makes it a little bit um, grungier. Shabby. It's more of a shabby colour. Um, so you just can just play around and... And make up colours and I think they came out lovely so and I'm next I think what I'm going to do I know lots of people have done it but my next um, tutorial I'm going to make some of these little fabric paper clips because I had such fun doing them I've seen everybody make them but I've never had a go so I thought I'd make some of those with all the grungy bits so I'm going to make them to go into my journals um, so I've made a few of those so this is one of my latest journals so that will be on Etsy soon. Right now, I'm going to show you how I did it. So, I'm going to take a little pot. You can have a little jug. You can have anything you like. And then what we do, take one of these. I think I'll go for this like orangey colour. And all as you do, pop it in there like so. You want to add some warm water. So you add the warm water like this. This is a bit of a like a orangey colour and that's it you leave it in there for a few minutes and you can see look at the colour comes out like that so it's just brilliant so I'll show you so if you show you again with the with the pink you need the smallest amount for the colour to come out so obviously if you're doing a bigger you want to do lots of fabric and lots of paper but you need to have enough to um, to to dye a lot because it does soak it up but look at that that's just quick and easy and all you do then you just take that out and then you've got the liquid so that's it that's how quick and easy it is and it makes fantastic colors so I don't think I will be using um, permanent markers to do it anymore. I'm definitely going to be using these and mixing and matching up my own colours. So um, that's brilliant. So I'll show you what I was doing. Let me just get a bit of fabric. So this, oops, oopsie daisy. So this is just a piece of white um, cotton fabric. And what I did, I just take, took little sections like this. Oh, this is it on paper. These are the colours. Look at that lovely rainbow colours you can do. So that's how lovely they come out. So can you imagine dyeing your papers like that and making a journal with it like this? It would be fabulous. But I'm not going to do any paper until I don't think next year now because our weather is awful. It's very, very damp and I do all my um, dyeing papers outside because I've got a really small little kitchen. Um, so let's, it's just not big enough. So I'm going to show you. So this is the purple. So all I did is spritz it like that. And then I've got my little heat tool. That's it. Oh dear. Oops. And there we go. Look at that. How quick and easy was that? So you can do that with seam binding. You can do that with lots of things. What did I do with my K2 
kitchen towel. There we are. The excess off there. But look how pretty that is, and it dries because it's cotton. It dries really, really quickly. So then you can add other colours to it. You can add a little bit of blue to it to get a different tone of purple. Then we we'll just give it a quick blast. that is so how quick and easy that is so all you need to do is warm water some crepe paper you can get these little squirty bottles or you can just keep it in jam jars um, and then we go you've got all your lovely lovely colors there we are guys I know it's a quick short video um, but it's good to be back I hope you were uh, having a good day and I will see you next time. So thank you for joining me. See you soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.